Hey there everyone, my name is Nathan and I'm the owner here at Minnesota Mobile Guy. If you're not already familiar with us, we're a business based here in the U.S. state of Minnesota, but we assist customers from all over the world with all sorts of different issues and services on their smartphones, tablets, and other mobile devices. One of the services that our customers most frequently ask us to perform is the removal of the Google Account Lock security feature on an Android device. Now, here with us today, we happen to have an AT&T Galaxy Samsung Galaxy Tab S4, and this is a device that does have the Google Account Lock enabled here. As we can see, as we're going through the setup process, we get to the screen that says that it was reset, and to continue, we have to sign in with an account that was previously on the device. So not just any Google account will let you in. And that's basically what the Google account lock consists of. It's something that was created by Google back in Android 5 or so to where when a device is reset without first removing the account that's on it, it's then going to ask you to log into that account again as a security measure after the device is reset. It was created to kind of combat some of the theft and the fraud that happens these days around the sale of mobile devices to ensure that only the true original owner is the one who can get back in. So over the years, we've been contacted by tons of customers asking us to help them get this type of lock removed from various different devices, usually either because they themselves got locked out of the device and couldn't remember or recover their login information, or because they were sold the device by a dishonest seller who didn't tell them that the lock was enabled, and then of course after the purchase, they didn't have the information to be able to log in. But we're making this video to let any interested customers know that we do offer a service to be able to remove this type of lock from this same model and that's actually exactly what we're doing right here right now while we have it plugged in with the cable we're running our removal program here and then after it finishes up here in just a few seconds we should be able to see that we can then get through all of the setup steps without seeing this lock while our program is finishing up here, I should also mention that this is something that can be done for just about anyone anywhere in the world. So you don't necessarily need to be here in our local area in order for us to be able to do this for you. You just need to have a decently powerful Windows computer along with a fast internet connection and we can remotely connect to you through the internet and do the exact same thing that we're doing right here right now. So. Our removal program has finished up running. The device is just going to initiate a restart here. And then after that, like I said, we should be able to see that we can get all the way through the setup steps without seeing that lock. So we'll give it just another second here to come up to the initial start page. Okay, so there we go. We're going to tap let's go and start going through here. So we just agree to the terms and conditions and then keep going. We don't need Wi-Fi, so we can actually just skip that. And then this is normally where the next, where the Google account lock would have shown up next. But now we just get a screen talking about Google services, so that is a good sign that the lock is removed. We're just going to keep going to make sure we can get all the way to the home screen, though. Uh, we don't need any of AT&T's setup options, so we can just go ahead and skip those. We can skip recommended apps because we don't need that. We can skip a Samsung account, and then we should be... Yep, there we go. We're all set. So we are now at the home screen. We have full access to all the apps and settings and features, and this is just like a brand new device that never had the lock on it. While we're here, I'm going to go ahead and jump into the settings just to show you exactly what we're working with. So again, it's a Galaxy Tab S4, and then that model number there, the T837A, that is the unique model number of the AT&T version of this device, since it is sold by a few different carriers. So, if you have an AT&T Galaxy Tab S4 and need help getting the Google account lock removed, we would love to help you out with that, so go ahead and get in touch with us. All of our contact information will be right down in the video description, and I'll also put a slide at the end of the video here that has all of the details there as well. While you're here, make sure to check out the other videos that we have on our channel, as we offer a lot of different services for a lot of different devices, and I'm sure you'll find something there that could come in handy. Make sure to hit that subscribe button while you're there also to be notified of all the new videos and services that we're constantly adding, just like this one. Y para todos los hispanohablantes, nosotros también hablamos español, así que ustedes nos pueden contactar sin duda. Thanks for watching, everyone, and have a great day.